benefit of this model is when dogs are typically chewing products, it's very difficult to see inside their jaw. This robot enables us to assess products more rapidly than we've ever been able to do before, so we can continuously work to improve the special texture of our products. We can directly see how we can design them to remove all of the plaque off the surface of the teeth. The, the chewing robot obviously would be a, a, a very valuable tool in, in developing chewing products like dentist sticks. The problem is that a full clinical trial is a, a very involved and expensive process and once you've got those results the product is pretty well at its final stages. So having something like the chewing robot enables an earlier investigation and therefore changes can be made to increase its performance. It can then be wrapped up with a full clinical trial. To measure the results of uh, this robot we take before and after pictures and we have a plaque mimic that's applied to the surface of the teeth and so we can see how effective products are at removing that, that coating of the plaque mimic. So taking a photo before and after the product's been chewed, we can then digitally see how much of that mimic has been removed. For me, this robot has been really beneficial for us to see just how visible the effects of our products like Dentistix are. If we are going to deliver best uh, dental and oral healthcare for pets, we need a collaborative approach. Having the tools and the products to help with home care is part of that mix as well and that needs to then integrate with the vet practice who are doing dental checks and dental treatment at time intervals that's, that's necessary to make the home care more effective.